Not sure why I never noticed the mountain before, but there it is. It's visible. Alright, so walking away from the college campus, I think, now. And that looks like another one of those uh, windmill wings on display. I saw the, I saw one in Twin Falls, Idaho, and it looks very similar. Mostly this end piece gives it away, although I don't remember those spikes sticking out at the end. It's all cut up. It's, oh, it says, okay, wind turbine blade. Yeah, that's familiar. So they actually have a sign. They they have don donated quite a must have donated quite a few of these. They must be easy to donate. All right, so I saw on Google Maps that there's a readiness center nearby, and I'm thinking this is probably for firefighter training. It's one of the the most uh, um, professional makeups I've ever seen for firefighting training. All right, so I'm just kind of checking out the. The back, no trespassing U.S. government. No trust, oh, here's another one. Oh, ooh. all right, dead end. Citizen soldiers protecting the homeland since 1636. I think this is the readiness building. It's very state of the art. Can't really see much. Um, yeah. Alright, yeah, readiness buildings. Like, focus on military, I guess. Let me go over here. I think you can see what's going on in there. What's that say? Nothing. Oh, yeah, you got pictures. So, various. Oh, okay, and the president. So various chains, part of the chain of command right there. I see, this building is the National Guard then. They call it the Readiness Center on the Google Maps. And then near the college and National Guard, it looks like this is a Pioneer Cemetery. They got it fenced off and they got the old style cemetery stones. There might be a sign around to describe it. Alright, you know, I was half expecting these rocks to describe the, uh, the Pioneer Cemetery. But you wouldn't really know that this is a Pioneer Cemetery then. There is an access point where I park my bicycle. I'll walk around a little bit. But look at the lawn mowing pattern. They, low, they mow on the outside of the fence, but don't touch the cemetery lot. Maybe they're trying to get it to overgrow and just forget about it. So we got Jane Hamlin, and she only lived to 39 in 1874. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not uncommon to see these cemetery uh, gra grave areas overgrown. It's not uncommon. They may be phasing it out. 1834 to 1881 to somebody. This one is well protected for some reason. Hard to read. Rev Revizra Fisher. This might be a little marker, this metal marker. Stone has fallen down. Unreadable, completely unreadable. So stones are not forever. That probably only goes back to the 1800s, so I think your stone might only last uh, a couple hundred years. This one's standing really good. Died in 1873 at 64. They got these, they got these crazy marker things. It's, Kind of unusual to, to mark a family plot or something. Most likely relatives, descendants of these pioneers are coming down here. This one's the most extravagant. 
this gate system died in 1869 and yeah there's just a lot of other stuff I find this gravestone interesting how does it kink to the left that thing's about to fall all right well I can cross the highway now I gotta cross this raging river but then what what's over here I can't get onto the highway and there's, yeah, oh, there appear to be a trail. All right, and then I go past 325's tie plant road. What is a tie plant? I came from over there. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't know about this type of road. It looks, looks pretty good. Private property, no trespassing, so I guess I won't go that way. But it might be good this way. It's in lots of olive trees in the ravine. I'm not sure if they produce any good olives, so. I've seen three of these uh, things. Um, uh, insect trap. And they're spread out mostly around the, the Columbia River. Another insect trap, not a hundred feet down from the last one. I see. I think I see another one further down. So they've they've spread them out along this road. They they might have hundreds of these insect traps, and they're they're trapping the wrong insect. That's not going to tra attract any any mosquitoes, which are getting bad this time. All right, so getting tired Portland Pendleton to the right Portland to the left Portland straight ahead that way Whew. heck of a climb oh man that's a sewage check all that sewage fruit processing water treatment ponds Fruit processing water treatment ponds. Oh man, I've never seen anything like that. I thought it was a sewage plant. So it must be for the Sunshine Mill Winery. They're processing the the wine, all the grapes or fruits, maybe various, various fruits. And I guess it's open today. Port Dallas Museum, that costs money though. The entrance, historic site. I don't see any cars parked here at the where you're supposed to drive in. My energy has been really good today. I haven't even gotten fatigued at all. And it's probably because of the, the dam and all that water churning, all the negative ions. You know what? I love boiled chicken. I only ever want my chicken boiled from now on. I don't know why people choose it any other way. It's like, it's ruined if you bake it. And, or deep fat fry it my god all that added fat from deep fat frying you could just boil it 
boil a chicken and you can boil it with anything else potatoes carrots maybe some barley And on Monday morning, there's supposed to be a food bank at 9 a.m. And I suspect it might be this church. Your home away from home, Oregon Motor Hotel. Motel. I think they're closed. If it wasn't for food banks, I would, I would not be near walking around the city nearly as much. I really find myself going on quests to find these locations, but is there any other kind of motivation to consider for looking around a city? Because I, I don't have many other motivations. Libraries, food banks. Alright, well it's a cross from the church, I think. No, but Panaderia Ideal? This... This would be most likely it, but I don't see any signs, so... Maybe not. Bread and Blessings. Bread and Blessings is the organization. Let's get a close-up of this. Meals, 9.30 to 11. But they also have a food bank at 9 on Monday, too. Uh, is there a food bank at 9 on Monday, or...? Uh, not a food bank, but we have a meal. Okay, okay no food bank? You know what, I'll tell you what, at 10 o'clock... 10 o'clock? So, yeah, 10 o'clock, come back, and then Cindy, she'll be in that office. Oh, And she'll there's... tell you all about the food bank. Okay, okay, thank you. you bet. 10 o'clock so when the library opens. And I can I can skip out on some library hours. There's somebody sleeping up here. I wonder if anybody lives here. Probably it's very much downtown. Just, uh, it looks like it's ready to, like, get torn down. It looks like it's on the verge of collapse. But still, yeah, this one's maintained better compared to that. It's a jungle. I think they put it at risk when they let things go like that. Let the vegetation take over. Maybe. This is downtown, so I shouldn't be surprised. But I just say that it does take some money and resources to to make walk bridges. And they have a pretty nice one here. I don't believe there's I believe there's another bridge not too far for yeah, on this road behind here. I believe there's a, a driving bridge. But they still they put some money into this too. All steel it's gonna last a long time for this walk bridge. Do they expect a lot of use out of it? It's hard to say. We do have a pretty big swimming pool over here, so maybe they've uh, set up this bridge because there's a limited parking. Give people more options to park across. Fish are spawning in this low. S yeah, the major, the major fish. Change in form. Hmm. Just down there. There's a trail that goes. This is a nice wide open parking lot, but they got a swimming pool. And in the summertime, it can get kind of packed. And I've had problems with swimming pool parking lots in the past. Especially in Raymond, Washington, when I had a cop knock on my car door. That was the only time... I was actually standing away from my car and watching the cop check check inside my car to find me because I parked too long um, in my space. 
But they didn't do anything. They just kind of stood there and made notes of my car and and then went away. No warning, no ticket. Just just him checking. Didn't mark didn't look like he marked it, but he he didn't really need to because he annotated that he was there, I'm sure, and remembered or you know come back the 24 hours later to see if my car is still there something like that um, but I stood there I was at the library just watching and I kind of hid I didn't know if he would like recognize me which I'm sure he wouldn't have but I sort of hid as I was playing on the internet and just watched him and that ta taught me to avoid the uh, parking lot the, the swimming pool parking lots 